What's good, you two? It's your boy, I'll be skinny. It's your boy, Cinco, man. <laughs> <laughs> Today, we is here to check out the most popular lyrics of 2018. You know Drake got me in there. Facts. And it's posted by motherfucking Genius. Uh, shout out to motherfucking Genius, because they put me in the, the valet um, reaction. It, well, I was reacting to the nigga, and then they made a video of everyone saying his name wrong. So, you know what I'm saying? My fault. But... It was dope that the, but it was dope that them niggas put me on, you know what I'm saying? So Shout out to his mother. I feel me sometimes I don't This is America. 2018 is coming to a close, so here are the top ten lyrics of the year according to Genius Data. First up, we head to Toronto, Canada. You gave me Nigga, I go in the club, nigga, I want to hear some damn 21 Savage and shit like that. I don't even go in the club because I can't even go in the club. But nigga, that's what music is mainly being played at nowadays, and that is not what's getting played in clubs. It's either getting played on radios or something like that, and then yeah. I don't want to be driving listening to that. You gave me <laughs> That is facts. Like, I don't... Maybe this, you know what I'm saying, it, it may be big somewhere. I don't know, maybe we just got to check the next one. I ain't trying to... Hate on the weekend nah, and nah, weekend nah. hot. Weekend but, got some hell of tracks like yeah, Cool yeah, Love yeah, with Drake. Facts. That shit was a fucking hit. I, I, I'll repeat that. <laughs> facts, but you know what I'm saying. Let's see what else they These lyrics of the weekend's track, Call Out My Name, from his March EP, My Dear Melancholy, may be referencing his breakup with singer Selena Gomez after nearly a year of dating. Melancholy lives up to its name, and apparently Abel scrapped another, happier album before releasing this one. For number nine, we head to Chicago by way of Calabasas. Whoop dee dee scoop. Scoop dee dee whoop. Whoop dee. No, I, that's pretty popular. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. That's no, popular because of who the fuck the nigga is and where, where and the controversy around it. And I, I agree with Genius on everything they listed right now. I agree. Except for that, I don't really agree. On that. I mean, a little halfway because it's some fact. You know, people probably you still got the yeah, the people that really do. Yeah, but this shit, nigga, come on now. This nigga Kanye really said this shit right here, and everybody in the world really knows it. Yeah, and they really poop and they scoop like whoop and they scoop, scoop and they whoop, whoop and they scoop and they poop. Scoop de poop. At the time of its release in April 2018, Lift Yourself was thought to be Kanye's response to Hot 97's Ebro for his anger over Ye's support okay, of President Ebro. Donald Trump. Eventually, we would find out that the real target may have actually been Drake. Whenever I wake up now to this text from him, a passive like sends me something I did. Yo, I love you, brother. Lift yourself comes out with him just talking nonsense. Damn, I hate to go inside. Call him one more bad like Michael. Can't really trust nobody with all this Jewish on you. And Facts. I ain't even really even know the song, but I kept hearing it all on the radio, and I'm like, Damn, this shit, like, like yeah, that, this shit, I, nigga, that's the shit I would play when I'm on the way to the beach, on a on a like a full week trip, my nigga, and I got like two girls. Two, I ain't gonna say like the B word because it's 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 that it's that type of song where you don't even want to call them the B word. Back though, you got two girls in the back, your dog right here in the right seat. You ride down to the beach, my dog. You feel me? I don't even want to cuss because it's just such a great song. It provides great energy in the man. No cap. <laughs> that shit really is hard though. Number eight, yeah. we have Post Malone, Malone and Ty Dolla Sign Psycho. This double entendre for the expensive watchmaker, Audemars Piguet, and the video game Fallout's action oh, points shit. kicked off a song that took four months to hit the top hey, of the Billboard Hot 100. You see that little shit right there? That shit said, your disc is almost full. I was trying to fix this shit. Well, press the, the clothes video, shit, my nigga. nigga. You just... well, well, did you not see what I had to do? I had to, to yeah. empty my recycle bin. And that's what, what happened. So now it ain't popping back up. So now let's get back to the video. For number seven, you revisit one of the most hyped beefs of the year. My baby's involved, it's deeper than rap. We talking character, let me keep with the facts. You are hiding a child, man. Yeah. Yeah. I expect that only, to be a only, because, because, only because it's a, it's a diss to Drake. And not because of that, but this nigga 
brought out a secret that the world did not know. What's some whole shit? What's some whole shit? Like, but it's a, it's a big secret. Yeah. And then, and then look at that shit. Like, look at that. That's yeah, the that, background. Like, that's Drake. Yeah, that shit. That shit is crazy. It's fucked up, my nigga. Drake, one of my favorite rappers. But damn, that shit crazy. Push it deep. Push it to you, like I, I I didn't really fuck with it and fuck with how he came about it, but on the on the the note of like really coming with some shit and coming with evidence and come like he really came with he some did shit. On the, yeah, he did his yeah. thing. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, my nigga Drake came back harder, but yeah, he did. Yeah, but damn. That boy come home, dead beat motherfucker playing Border Patrol. The story of Adonan, Pusha T's haymaker response to Drake's Duffy freestyle, revealed to the world that the Canadian MC was a father. Drake thought that Pusha's label mate Kanye was the source of the information, but Pusha later still, claimed it was wow. Drizzy's producer 40. With that also came the fact that Drake has a child. With that also came the, 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 uh, the trip that everybody took to go see the child and bring them gifts and all of, you know, all of this information. For number six, we head to the Midwest. Rihanna just sent me on a text. Last night I left Tinkies on her neck. Eminem's kill shot was the fiery response to Machine Gun Kelly's rap. MGK's is better. I don't give a fuck, but nobody say. Y'all, I, I reacted to it. My video got over 100,000 views. Damn. Yeah, yeah and, and I, it probably got like 100 likes and like probably 2,000 dislikes. Like, nigga, nigga, I can hate till this day, niggas tell him I'm, I'm retarded, I'm, 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 it's really disrespectful. I mean, Eminem is a goat, my nigga, you really did. He is, yeah. But I, I feel where you come from, because <clears throat> I agree. I even re-listened to both of the songs, you know what I'm saying? Even the fact of the bars, even the fact of the hypeness or whatever, however you want to go about it, MGK was really, he really came with some shit. Uh, if MGK is not on this list, then, then that's bullshit. That devil, a beef that came but, to a head in 2018 no, no, no. after years of simmering under the radar. As for these lines, Eminem and Rihanna did not date, but those bars were a direct response to a few jabs on Rap Devil. So to be scared to ask Rihanna for a number, just hold her umbrella, Ella, Ella. For number five, we're headed back to Canada. <laughs> The marquee that lyric off of Drake's the, massive the, the, single, the number one that should be number one. I'm about to say everyone knows that shit, and not just because of that. It's just because nigga, that's fucking facts. Oh, I only love, love my bed and my bro. mama. I'm sorry, but even though he's talking about his kid, I really do love my bed. Like I really do like, even though I don't have a bed. Real nigga, shit, y'all niggas don't know the struggle. But a nigga, <laughs> if we had a bed, I'd be loving that shit like that ass. <laughs> Go to sleep every day, nigga. Faithfully ten hours. No cap, just loving the bed. Twenty hours. <laughs> Only four hours of reaction time. <laughs> Where's this nigga loving the bed? God's plan reaffirms his well-documented love for his mother, Miss Sandy Graham. God's plan kicked off a big year for Drizzy, spending 11 weeks atop the Billboard Hot 100, only to be taken over by himself with Ice for What. It even finished number one on Billboard's annual year-end list. That's crazy. He overtook himself. Like, damn, how you got the number one track? And then you got all these other niggas trying to compete to get to the number one track. And then you're just like, ha ha, boom. That's not, just, another. that's not just the number one track in hip hop. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. I'm about to say, you know that means number one track overall. Because right? I'm seeing Ed Sheeran right there. And B I'm saying, B B B I, B I, B I don't even know who that is. I don't know who neither one, Florida George, not, like, bro, he is beating every. But the fucking category, dog. Like this shit don't make no sense. No cat beating it and beating itself in it. It's crazy. I guess Drake's 2018 was God's plan indeed. Mm -hmm. Next up, we have Ariana Grande and her burn book. Here at number four, Ariana references her ex. And I reacted to it. Is go check that out on Zayra Shah's channel. Yeah, I, I did fuck with the song too, and she was basically just talking about like our exes and all this shit. And she, she got a lot Thank of exes. Thank you. Next. It was just, she got a lot of exes, and all the exes have went through problems. Uh, I'm not trying to sound fucked up or nothing, but yeah. she was having a Mac Miller, you she was about to have a tell the dude. Yeah, no cap, I, w I was thinking about that. But damn, but what is it about Ari that's making these dudes really think that the, way? The pussy makes go crazy. She got that. Is it the pussy away. or is it just the is it just the just the, the talk? Is it the what is it, my nigga? Because I swear, pussy ain't never gonna make me just like kill myself. Like I'm gonna just get some more. If I'm big, I'm gonna just get some more pussy. Yeah, it's outrageous. 
and former backup dancer Ricky Alvarez, part of the donut licking incident in 2015. As well, right, that was it. Well, I will say is Ariana Grande is bad as fuck out. If I got a chance, man, I'm risking. Those are songs Moonlight and True Love, off of Dangerous Woman and Christmas and Chill, respectively. The music video pulled inspiration from a number of classic female-led films, like Mean Girls and Bring It On. In December, Gina sat down with director Hannah Lux Davis for how it all came together. What we wanted to do is just make sure we created the same feeling that you got while watching the movies, but then also put like the Ariana Grande spin on everything. Instead of a bend and snap, we called it like the thank you next. <laughs> At number three, we have lines from the late XXX Tentacion Sad, possibly referring to his tumultuous relationship with his ex-girlfriend, for whom he was awaiting trial on charges of domestic violence and kidnapping. In June 2018, X was killed at a motorcycle shop, and afterwards, Sad rocketed to number one on the Billboard Hot 100. Due to his death, the charges would later be dropped. For number two, we dig into the black experience in the United States. This is America. This world is Childish Gambino's yeah. This Is America hit like a song. bomb, debuting atop the Billboard Hot 100 and had the whole country we, curious as we to we its meaning. He distracted us a lot yeah. with I, a lot of pop really culture good. references, like using like a lot of popular dances that distracted us from the greater picture that was going on in the background. This year's yeah. award season may no, be very right, good for Gambino, right, as This Is America netted four Grammy nods, including Record of the Year. And now, for the number one lyric of the year, we head back to the six. Kiki. Boy by a bottle dance well, challenge. It back. Like I, I really am like dude, that shit is just a fucking hit, bro. Yeah, that shit is a hit. Man, I'm going yeah, everybody right. doing the challenge. I'm going back to when he first intro it and everything. For the number one lyric of the year, we head back to the six. Kiki, do you love me? Are you riding? Say you never have Buoyed by a bottle dance yeah, right, and an infectious bounce yeah. beat, Drake's In My Feelings reigned atop the Billboard Hot 100 for 10 weeks, practically all summer. And together with his other number oh, ones, bro. God's Plan and Nice For What, allowed him to eclipse Usher for the most time spent at number one by any artist in history. As for Kiki, Genius identified her as model Kiana Barber in July. That's it for the top lyrics of 20. Oh, Ooh, Plan and Nice For What allowed him to eclipse Usher for the most time spent at number one by any artist in history. As for Kiki, Genius identified her as model Kiana Barber. It's fine about it's model Ki Kiana Barber. Oh, that's, that's, that's the Instagram right there. For the love of KJ. Yeah, get Hold on, wait, now nah, you wait a minute. We're going to look at these pictures together and react to them pictures. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that is a key moment in life right now. Fuck, right? For the love of KJ. Mm -hmm. One hundred. She need. Ooh, Kiki, do you love me? Are you riding? Say you never ever leave from beside me, and I want ya, and I need ya, uh, yeah. And I'm down for ya always. Like, bro, real. I would have sung the same shit, my nigga. Oh my gosh. Oh my. Oh my. I ain't even look at the thighs no nothing. Okay. I've been looking at them eyes. Oh my goodness. What the? She, what she, about? she even got the. She fuck with the smoke. She, what the? What oh my God! God. She fuck with it's the gun. Going down. The gun, it's bro. going down. Man, shout out to my I'm about to watch this little video right quick. Yeah, what is? Hold on now. Hold on. Yeah, hold on. It's, it's the one with her in the jersey. Yeah, go follow her, yeah, man. Yeah in July. That's it for the top lyrics of 2018. Are there some lyrics that you feel didn't get enough shine this year? Let us know. I'm Jacques Morel with Genius News, bringing you the meaning and the knowledge behind the music. See you in 2019. Peace. I know one lyric I specifically think shit got involved in it. Is that one lyric in Kodak shit. If you think I'm lying, if I'm lying, I'm lying. I will say it's a hot song, but as far as the most popular lyrics of like real yeah music, everything yeah because i'll be thinking in my like type of genre i don't really look past my genre i need yeah. to start looking past my genre more and i'd understand that shit facts facts but yeah man shout out to my fucking genius this is the motherfucking most popular lyrics in 2018 this is LV Skinny. This is Amari Sinclair. You know what I'm saying? And I uh, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, all that. Till next time, YouTube. We got this bitch.
catch a body, young nigga catch a body I'm feel like six nine, so everybody wanna try me I ain't no lick, big ass guns, they gon' hit huh? It's a hit, we just let blood in his kicks huh? I ain't no lick, big ass guns, they gon' hit huh? It's a hit, we just let blood in his kicks Hey, in his kicks, but them shits is not red bottoms hey. Took his shit, these nuts, how we got em Damn. Bro was holding too much weight, I had to spot him Facts. I'm on the way to the top, you at the bottom Facts. It's simple, oh. how you gon' shoot something you cannot handle I be out here like some toes and sandals She over six feet, I'ma call her as Randall I got me a lawyer, no Daniel or Crandall Niggas wanna be up, but wanna skip the ride The truth always come out of shit, you can't hide This shit made me heartless when my mama cried It really got rough when my grandfather died like I never 